So first question is, which goes back further in time in, in human history, beer or wine? That's a really interesting question. And the, the answer is, nobody is sure. But the very first alcoholic beverages that we know have the characteristics both of beer and of wine. Interestingly enough, the very earliest uh, alcoholic beverage, um, I think, is, is is from China, and it's 9,000 years old. Uh-huh. It, and it's known from chemical residues yeah. you know, on the inside of pots. And those pots have this, had, had contained a liquid that had some cereal in it, had rice, uh-huh. it had honey, and it had uh, fruit uh, from hawthorn. So it had some of the characteristics of beer, some of the characteristics of mead, and some of the characteristics of wine. So what they call extreme beers now Mm -hmm. are sort of going back in that direction. That's kind of a return to the origins. A return to the origins. Do you think there's a, do you think there's, I can't help but ask this, do you think there's a genetic predilection to want to have beer? (laughs) <laughs> well, you know, it's a very it's interesting called, thing is they culture. just, uh, you know, the, the humans have have a unusual tolerance for alcohol, mm-hmm. you know, much more than most mammals and uh, much more than most primates. And it mm-hmm. turns out that this, the the uh, the mutation in the alcohol dehydrogenase gene that allows us to tolerate much more alcohol mm-hmm. than um, than most primates occurred in the lineage that led to the African apes and humans maybe at around 10 million years ago. Huh. So it's not just humans that have this, it's, uh, it's um, chimpanzees uh, have it as well. But there's no examples of chimpanzees making, uh, fermenting as far as... Right? There's <laughs> no example of, of uh, chimpanzees uh, making, uh, making fermented beverages, but there is an example of a chimpanzee stealing fermented beverages. Oh, really? What, what happens when they do? Well, there's a, there's a plantation in a place called Basu in, uh, in, in Guinea, in West Africa. Mm. There's a place um, where they have a plantation of raffia palms. Mm-hmm. Right? And la- raffias are these big, expansive uh, palm trees from, uh, from Madagascar. And um, the, uh, you can make palm toddy. Oh. From them by oh. binding together the the, uh, the 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 stems that give rise to the uh, to, to to the fruit, and uh, taking the sap that drips from them, mm-hmm. and so the uh, the the plantation workers were uh, uh, making toddy for themselves, but they had to be away working most of the day, and the chimpanzees would sneak in, <laughs> and very interestingly, what they would do, they couldn't get their hands into the into the uh, um, uh, the containers that the palm toddy was dripping into um, and, and get enough out. So what they did was they, they took leaves, chewed on the leaves to make a sponge, mm. dipped the sponge in the liquid, yeah. and then helped yeah. themselves to the, uh, to, to the toddy. And right. they'd be dipping there, dipping, 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 10 times a minute sometimes, you know, for uh, quite some time. <laughs> Necessity being the mother of invention. Yeah. 